mama in the sauna. See, that I should get extra points because it has sauna and mama. We're not very good at this game. No. My uncle died in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sean, the city of cryotherapy, Indy, with my friend, Dr. Charbel, and my Dr. Friend, Kevin. Dr. Kevin, you're not a doctor. Uh, and we were here a couple of years ago doing cryotherapy. At the time, he's the only place in town offering cryotherapy. And so today, we're gonna go the exact opposite end of the spectrum and get inside his infrared sauna. Now, something you should know, both Kevin and I hate being hot. I will cry all summer long. Yeah, me too. I, I really don't like being hot. So we thought this would be a good thing for us to do for some reason. It's not your typical hot that you experience on a hot day, August or July. Uh, out in a muggy hot day with It's a dry on. heat, right? It's a dry heat, it's a dry heat. Wait, how's it different than the traditional sauna, though? A fantastic question. So, uh, this one... Hold on a second. I want sorry, to, sorry, this sorry, is my sorry. video. I'll Let me write ask down the good that. questions. How is it different than a traditional sauna? <laughs> I love this. Ask, ask Dr. This, ask this, Dr. this Kevin. combo here is, is making my day. So, the way this is different from a traditional sauna, is one what we'd like to bring to the client first is the benefit of the infrared. So, the infrared, it allows the vessels to dilate. And when that happens, there is much more blood flow, whether it's for skin rejuvenation, arthritis, muscle pain, spasm, tension. We both know that increased blood flow, increased oxygenation to any tissue equates to healing, feeling better. All right, Doc. Let's, let's do it. it. Let's get inside. All right. All right. So, uh, okay. So we didn't know what we were going to do in there. I was probably going to be bored, so we asked Kevin to bring a friend. I am the all-knowing magic fortune monkey. Is he the best thing to ever happen to Indianapolis radio? Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, I'll take it. How long do you think you could take it? That's a good question. Let's find out what the world record is. <laughs> let's, let's do that. I don't want to do that. Not today. you got to ease into it, I think. Could you live in a um, place that's hot? No, 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 no. You will never ever hear me complain. People complain about, oh, the cold of Indiana. But you will never ever hear me complain about the cold. I will gripe all summer long. Yeah, me too. I, I really don't like being hot. Yeah, yeah. No, I won't go any farther south than this. Do you I won't even live on the south side. Now, Kevin doesn't drink. Uh, I do, however. Uh, I'm going to change that, though. You can't. First drink. You know how thirsty I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, this is delicious. People should have told me. You know what? You'd think this would bring a, this would help, but it doesn't. We just need to keep distracting ourselves. We're doing a good job. We, I'm really say, starting to get uncomfortable. Let's see for thirty seconds. We can just sit here and, and just in, in silence and not and just and just. When you make noise, that negates the silence. I was breathing. I was just doing. Should we get out of this thing now? Um, like totally. Word. Because it wasn't clear, that's a yes. Okay. Okay. It's all sassy. Oh, oh, it feels so cold out here now. It does feel cold. It feels so cold. Now, I, can you see my sweat? Can you see you my really sweat? You really did sweat? Can you see that? That's... Wow. Yeah. All right. You didn't really. I didn't really sweat. You're dehydrated. I think, I think I'm dehydrated. Well, you just had your first drink in there. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs>